everybody, and welcome back to Telltale Games, The Wolf Among Us. So, I had hit the pause menu really quick, and we have these things called Book of Fables. So, let me see what... Oh, okay. Uh, I guess it's bios on everybody in the game. Okay, that's cool. So, you know, depending on who I see and depending on what I do, I unlock people. Okay, I get it. Uh, the renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in red boot and red hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Bigby now acts as Fable Town's sheriff and remains in his human form, mostly. However, due to his rough past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Bigby is determined to show that he's truly changed, but some instincts are just too hard to control. Wow. Wait, let's let's look at the woodsman. He's the fallen hero. The woodsman is one of the few men who went toe to toe with Big B, with Big Sby. No, with Big B. Excuse me. I wish his name was Big Sby. That would be a little easier to say. But with Big B back in the Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the great wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him with rocks, and threw the beast into a river. To his dismay, the popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten, and he is only known as The Woodsman. That sucks. Wow. This is really... What is this? Glamours. Disguise spell. Glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive, but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human among the Mundies. Cheap glamours can be found in the seedier parts of Fable Town, but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. Wow, yeah, Fable Town. Fable Town is a community located on Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. So yeah, we are in New York. To regular people, or Mondays, it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but it is really the home of fables from many worlds, and within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fable Town. I hope we actually get to see the farm. Oh, where well, you go. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as human. Giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mondays to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyway. I don't know who Colin is. But okay, that's that's actually really cool. We're gonna res we're gonna resume. So this is Bullfinch Street. So okay, glass slipper shoes. So, I guess shoes by Cinderella would have been too obvious. Yep. I mean, even if she said Cinderella, who would have? Excuse me, who would have believed her? I, I I burped. That was highly unprofessional. I can't walk off the sidewalk, which is fine. Can he run? Yeah, he can walk slightly faster with the R2, as per you. Oh, ooh, it changed the uh, view on me. Uh, it caught me off guard. I'm like, no, I don't want to show you apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want to go past it. Okay. Want to make sure I see everything, if not as much as I can. Fables created by Bill Willingham. Good job, Bill Willingham. You did a damn good job telling this story. And you see, that's the thing. Um, oh, I didn't have a choice. Who's that? Red Riding Hood. Come on out. There you go. Come on out. I know you're there. All right. All right. Hey. Beauty. Oh, it's Beauty. Hello, Big B. Stay off the grass, thanks. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide? Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No. 
can. Damn it, I'm late. Okay. This is weird. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. I'm staying out of Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. Yeah, there you go. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Okay, I think I give a fair answer. It's not what you might be thinking. You're not having an affair? I think that's fair. People's personal affairs are people's personal affairs. Look, whatever you're doing, that's between you and your husband. I'm not in it. Now, if I get a public disturbance call, then I'm in it. But uh, until that time, you guys figure it out. I'm not in your marriage. I'm not. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go over here first. And I want to go to the suit of armor next, but yes. It's been a while since I got any mail. Well, let's check. Probably got something. Seventh day in a row. Hey, sometimes no news is good news. So, don't, uh, don't count your chickens just yet. At least you're not getting a bill, so that's fine. Hey, you wink? Nope. Hmm. Probably for the best. Yep. Wish I had a job that let me sleep like that. Oh. Fly catcher needs to dust this guy. Why does he have a baton? Oh. Uh. Nah, okay. Alright. So, he's just gonna be knocked out. Yeah, let's look at the directory. Who else lives here? What are you gonna show me? Beast, Mr. and Mrs. Private? Ah, I didn't get to read all of it, but whatever. Is there anything past here? Are you gonna give me anything? Is that going to be a big negatory? Yeah, it is. Okay. Going upstairs. Ah, rickety New York elevators. Always make you feel like your life's in danger. Despite how decent they look on the inside. Is that Beast? That is Beast. Hi. Big B. Hey. Wait up. Oh, boy. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? I haven't seen her. Nope. I haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Yep. I said I'm staying out of it. She, she walked off. She says she's going to explain things. Hey, I may have lied to Beast, but I'm not in it. I'm not in it. Y'all got to figure it out. Sorry. Nice. Smells like ass in here. <laughs> At least the big bad wolf has a uh, human form. You know, he's like a werewolf, so he doesn't need glamour necessarily. What a night. I don't think. Is there anything else in here? Refrigerator dare. Let's go in the freezer. Let's see what we got in the freezer. Got something to put over my eye? Damn it. 
it. I mean, we could just run the faucet and make more ice cubes, but okay, whatever. What else? Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Okay, so you own that refrigerator. That's interesting. I usually thought that things like that came in an apartment, but I guess not. Uh, I don't know. I'm unfamiliar with stuff like that. Okay. Bluebeard's file. Who the hell is Bluebeard? I know Blackbeard. Never trusted this guy. And I think I've heard of Bluebeard, but I don't know who Bluebeard... Oh. Well, why don't I just look and see who Bluebeard is? That's the benefit of playing a game where I can... Un oh. Bluebeard. Wealthy scoundrel. Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions and he offers often uses his influence for his own benefit. As a, foremost, as a former serial killer, whoa, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over, but even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane. Wow, Bluebeard decapitated people, that's good to know. Okay, let me look at Beast. Beast and his wife, Beauty, left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He is able to get around Fable Town without a glamour most of the time, but if Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute, growing horns and large teeth. Despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship of anyone in Fable Town. But if Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute. So I guess his shame does it for him? I know Beauty doesn't need uh, glamour because she's human. Uh, there's not going to be anything in here. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game, actually, if people will pay attention... This game is was a large influence on something coming up in the future. At least this still works. I should hope it would. And should help. If everything, yeah, because it smells like ass in here. If everything goes the way it should, you will see what I mean. You'll be, oh man, that's cool. But but we gotta get there first. So, you know, this will be a marker. Just remember I said that. This is an influence. Heavy influence. <sighs> oh, not again. Lunch, dinner, midnight snack. Hey, Colin. Get up. Colin. Wake your ass up. Hey. Ham hock. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Come on, I'm tired. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Yeah, it's fine. At least it's warm. Got a smoke? Yeah, sure, give it to him. There we go. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. Nice. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. 
I mean, the house I don't know. didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Take a sip. Oh. No, I thought it meant for him. Nice. No. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. All right. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. All right, whatever. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I guess. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. That's kind of true. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Yeah, I thought about his knuckles. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Yeah, actually. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Mm. Fuck you. All right, whatever, Colin. I'm, it's been a long time. You think thing. my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. All right. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Toad. Toad. Mr. Toad. Okay. How are his kids doing? He was yelling at him. Eh, sounds about right. Yeah. I was nice to Toad. I was understanding. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. Yeah, that's true. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Huh? Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, what? Wait, that doesn't Just make sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give Colin a drink. That's what I wanted to do from the beginning, just to shut him here. You chose to give me a drink. There you go, buddy. Thanks, Big B. Everyone needs a drink every now and then, especially in this rough city. Times are hard, man. And that chair is his only bed. That's crazy. All he does is just lay back and go to sleep. Well, you got your two seconds, so you can't be too mad, Big B. Big B. Yeah, I said it right that time. Okay, cool. Okay, Jesus, man. All right, fine, fine, fine. What? Whatever, whatever. Just stop knocking. Really? Fix your must up tie. Oh. Big B. Snow. Snow. Come with me. Okay. Snow. What's up? Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Who was that? Mm -hmm. These walls are paper thin. Alright. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. 
Okay. Should I just start talking about some random bull crap in the elevator? Oh, yay! A wolf in sheriff's clothing. I mean, I don't know where that trophy came from. Unless I got all the fables in chapter one. That'd be nice. Look at that. Alright, I got my fingers on the trigger buttons. Well, not the trigger, the sticks. In case there's an R2 thing I need to target. Jacket. Legs. Okay. Jacket, excuse me. Running on stomach acid and bourbon. Oh, uh, she's dead. No. She's you dead, Jim. Knew this girl? Yeah. Is she's not a Mundy, right? I don't know. Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. She was a prostitute. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> All right. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Yeah. Just give me a second. You're darn right. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize anyone? what I was even looking at. Well, so, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but no, I don't think so. I would remember. Mondays. No Mondays. Did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. Ooh. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. That's true. But what was the last Fable Town murder? Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Yeah, I imagine you're right, Snow. God rest the dead. Alright. So. I am actually going to cut the video here as we dig into this grisly crime. No. What are you doing? Stop that. Um, as we dig into this grisly crime scene, it, uh, I guess let me look. Let me see what this is. Mondays, non-fables. Oh, this is good. Short for mundane. Mundy is a catch-all term that fables use to refer to the non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Warding spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town and the farm keep their minds distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity or scrutiny of a large group of Mundies, these magical protection charms would overload and fail. As Sheriff of Fable Town, one of Big B's primary functions is ensuring the Fable Town community maintains a low profile. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, so Fable Town polices itself. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to cut the video here, and when we return, we will pick up with that lady's head. I don't know who she is. Um, I never finished this game before, so I don't know the identity. I don't know what that last murder was, who that last murder victim was, or who the last killer was, though I imagine it should have been Bluebeard, since he likes to captivate people. That would be, <coughs> oh, excuse me. That would be suspect number one on my list. But, hey, you know, I don't want to be biased here and uh, put the cart before the horse. So I'm going to cut the video here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, mash that like button like there's no tomorrow and share the video with the world. Hit me up on Twitter and hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the videos thus far. And I'm the outlier, and I will see you all in the next video.